Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Well, hello everyone, my name is Rick Pasek, Fly Fish Fanatic, and welcome to another episode of On the Bench with Sport Fishing on the Fly. Uh, today we'll be tying a uh, kind of a, a it's a booby pattern but uh, it's kind of my take on a booby version of a, uh, a pumpkin head so that's what we'll be doing so let's get her going so in the vise today i am using a hens bl554 in a size six uh, this is fairly large i just wanted it large for the video i usually do it in eight tens and twelves um, i will be using a medium Rainey's booby eye. It's our preformed eye. You can use uh, the 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 uh, the posts as well, like the regular the booby foam, and just shape it yourself. Um, for the tail, I'll be using some hens marabou in uh, olive. For the uh, body, I'll be using some hens spectra dubbing uh, number thirty nine here, the one with my fingers on the kind of the medium that one there, green um, for the hackle. A little bit of orange gri dyed grizzly and for the flash in the tail a little bit of copper orange flashaboo um, as well as for the uh, um, thread i'll be using some down silk okay so first things first let's get uh, let's get our thread started cut off my rat's tail get my booby eye and a little hint for you guys, for people that are just new at tying these booby eyes on, take the eye. It's going to be kind of hard for you guys to see, but just take it on, put three, four, five turns right on it. Oh, I just got hooked up. On it, like that. And it's on the thread. And now all you have to do, is shorten your thread up first, is just bring it on until it touches. And then you don't have to worry about trying to hold it on. And there you go. All right? Nice and secure. And just find your spot. Leave a little bit of room in the front. And then what I like doing here is taking just a dab of Sally Hansen's this point and just putting some right on the right on my thread just to help hold that that uh, much better right those eyes because they they especially these rainy's eyes I love the fact that they're preformed but they uh, they don't hold the greatest on um, and they're to be honest they're, they're crazy expensive um, I don't think I'd buy them again but um, the uh, it's it's nice and simple uh, for not spinning i uh, not uh, um not having to shape them yourself so i'll just leave that for now that'll that'll set in um, i prefer just using the uh, regular booby eyes but uh and then i can shape it myself and with this uh nano silk you gotta kind of be careful with these as well because any booby eyes any foam you'll you can it's because this stuff is so strong and sharp it'll cut it so i just gotta be careful so now i'm just building a, a base layer to about just past the point of the hook somewhere halfway between where the point and the barb would be okay just as a base layer and then i'm going to come back again to right behind those eyes gonna get a little bit of my marabou gonna take about two to three finger widths off of the uh, off of the feather from one side so I'm just tearing and folding tearing and folding right just like that so I get the package size that I want roughly don't want a huge tail but you definitely want a tail on these and I prefer the wispier so I'm gonna tie it in right about there I like having a fairly long tail because I can always trim it um, when I'm out in the water I just by tearing it right if I'm finding that I'm getting short hits so right up against those eyes just tie that nicely down again back about there 
then lift and go under your tail, over, under your tail, and over. Okay, that'll help it from getting uh, getting fouled up. Okay, just gonna turn down this light a little bit because I think it's yeah. There you go. It's getting that glare from. So now I'm gonna take my coppery orange flashaboo here, and I just want like two strands. That's all I want. Don't want a ton. And just hold that onto the onto the thread, and then I'm gonna just hold it down. Excuse my hands. Each side of the fly, come forward, and then I would cut these just slightly longer than the tail. Okay. They'll cooperate once they get in the water. <laughs> they never do here static and all that other stuff okay so now I'm gonna take some Semperfly wire in gold um, that I had out here somewhere there it is and I'm gonna tie this in you don't want too heavy of a wire um, again this is a booby so you want it to to have that floating right that's why that's why you've got the booby eyes right but um, you don't want too thin of a wire either because it'll it'll uh, it'll just break uh, I find this point two is perfect so now I'm gonna go in and grab some of that uh, that spectra dubbing right there oh, this one right here number 39 that's the one I like so the 39 is the is the color I like the best from from hens for this so a little bit of wax again because it's slippery material these nano silks these GSPs right they're slippery so I want to be able to have something for your your dubbing to grab onto okay so now I'm gonna just get it started once I got one good wrap. I'm just gonna make sure I tighten that up as I go. I don't want a, a huge body on these. And if anything, I want to gain a little bit as I go forward, if anything. Just a little bit more. Now I'm going to take my hackle and I want to have a decent length hackle here at the front. So about like that. There's about good. And then just going to prep my feather so I just have my tie in point. And I put that right on the side here under the eye and just get that tied in. Now, if you want to, and I've done this before, I actually can tie it in right at the front, put a couple of wraps and then go up and over the eyes. That'll have this material going up and over the eyes if you want to hide them a bit. So that works as well. It's up to you. <clears throat> so now I'm just going to grab my, no, I don't need my hackle pliers. I think it's long enough. So I'm going to do one, two full turns right behind the eye, and then two, three and one more there grab my wire counter wrap catch that in once you've caught that tail piece then make sure you're not getting that flash I'll have to I have to train that flash it's, it's not being a, it's not co cooperating so now I can go up and over the booby eye in front and then up and over behind again so you're there we go that they come right in the front there tie that off tie it off tie it off half a dozen times and then in front turn hold your thread 
helicopter that off. Helicopter your, if you can get it to helicopter off, if you can't, which I can't on this one because it's good quality. Nip off your excess of your hackle. Now these flashaboo is really not, not cooperating. And then just uh, go in front there. Don't worry about those little fibers that are there right now. It's not the prettiest, but don't worry about the fibers that are in front there. Do a whip finish. Do another set of whip finish. But, uh, I let go of that one and there we go. So don't worry about the, those little fibers that are there right now. Because now I'm going to cut that off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my, my foam and everything out of the way and my other my hackle that I want to keep. Just get my fingers in there and hold everything out of the way and not poking yourself six times like I just did. And just give your a real quick little melt with a lighter. And if there's any more, like there's still a couple of tiny ones and I just don't want to get in there, you just get that like that. And there is the finished one. It's, so this is a little booby damsel, if you want to call it that. It is big. Like I said, I tied on a big one here just for the video. Um, I tie, you normally I tie these in a, in a uh, uh, eight as the maximum, but 10, 12, 14. Um, and there, once you get that a little bit wet, those uh, fibers actually cooperate. So yeah, so there's your little booby uh, pumpkin head. All right. Well, I hope you guys liked that one. And uh, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Sport Fishing on the Fly. Tie lines. <laughs>